What's going on, guys? We just got off the water. I'm here with my man, Ken. What's up? <laughs> hey. He's from Bait Sanity. Um, he's one of their pro staff. And today we're going to talk about their lure, which just got snagged. <laughs> Hold on. One second. This. There it is. <laughs> nine point something inch. Nine beast of a glide bait. For real. It's... It's... it's But um, look, we're going to go a little bit more into the specifics of this bait right now. So I first got on, signed on by this company a couple months ago, and uh, he sent me a bait. So I wanted to try it out. I actually went out about like 1 in the morning to a spot where I, I've been getting bit by quite a few fish, but nothing really big. And uh, actually on the first cast, while slow rolling this bait, I got a 20.5, which was uh, unheard of <laughs> at this point at that spot. So, And it held up great, you know. I had a few of the smaller fins rip which is is normal you know a 20 pound class fish the tail held up great everything else the hardware was good and um i actually went down a few couple a couple days later and, and got a 14 out of another spot that i wasn't really producing anything out of so i mean this bait really changes up the game it's something they've never seen before and like what else can you say uh, it's, it's just something different that they've never seen and it's got different swimming action and it just does the job Let's just show you a few clips here of it in actual action, the kind of fish that it's been pulling out. We're specifically targeting these big striper um, here on the river chain that we fish. And so just check this out. I think the fact that this bait incorporates soft features to it, not only to give it a more lifelike feel, but to actually give the fish um, more of, of, a, of a presentation to where it actually, when it actually checks it out and thumps it. Because these fish that we're fishing, these, these freshwater striper, I mean, Striper are different parts of the, of, of the United States or different parts of the world. I mean, they, they act differently. The ones in the ocean act differently. The ones down east act differently. But down here in this river chain, the big ones or the ones that we consider big are very, very intelligent, very picky. Mm -hmm. They will nudge your bait. They will legit look at it and sneeze and blow you off. They they'll, get, they'll get your heart pumping yeah. and they'll just yeah. like, and they'll just like leave. Um, so, and if you can't sell it to them, if your bait doesn't like do it for them, they just they just will just leave. But this bait gets chewed on a lot. I mean, you can't tell. And so, and well, I've, I've too. Yeah. We have very clear water, and they've seen everything from two fifties to hinkles to Roman maids, you name it. They've seen the whole batch of it. There's only a few baits that you can get by with, like this bait, maybe Huddleston's once in a while, you know, Savage Gear bait, something I've never seen that that people don't really believe in fishing because they're always about the high priced bait. And it's not always about that. It's it's about a bait that works, and it doesn't always have to be four or five hundred dollars to catch a fish. I can't touch it right now because my I got hooks in my finger. But um, I think that's a big, huge part of it. Stuff that gives it the lure. So if you have like a fish nipping at it, it doesn't like nip at a hard tail, or hit nip the soft tail, it'll come and hit the rest of it. And so he's got a pretty good hookup ratio going for the actual bait. And the good thing to, to also state about it is when you have a hard tail. That fish is hitting that hard tail and just kind of bumping against it. Yeah. So, but when you have the softer tail, it flexes in, and that fish is grabbing the whole bait itself, the whole back end. And that's when most of the fish have been getting this whole back end in their mouth. All right, guys. So there you saw it. That was just but a smidge of what I got. I mean, a few times I left my GoPro running the whole time, forgot to turn it off, and it died. So we missed a few catches. And uh, there's, there's a, a few... little bit of foul language. Yeah, a lot of stuff had to be edited out. Um, but we legitimately had a good time. I mean, we threw other stuff too. I mean, some other stuff worked. Like we threw the chart, like a chart. We did get a BBZ to the yeah. as well. Yeah, we did some so other but <laughs> but really these these trout glides for for the instant. We do want to put ourselves on um, some largemouth here and see how it does for those. That'll be like maybe our next video on this bait. Go up to Lake Mojave and try that out. See yeah. how they like to react to it. There's yeah. some good fish in Mojave. You have a few DDs in there, so we'll see if we can pinpoint some good points and see if we can get some uh, big old largies. <laughs> yeah. Maybe smallies. Too. Maybe some too. Yeah, whatever. Maybe even striper. You never know. Not like. Yeah, we'll hit the whole river chain if we got to. But Probably a catfish. Probably maybe. A catfish. Probably catfish. We'll see what else it catches. <laughs> but if sure, I mean, if it can, if it can attract these big, you know, these striper that people are, are trying to catch but can't because they're so intelligent. I mean, and it's able to 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 attract and provoke them into biting then. I mean, pretty confident. We do need to see these in different colors, though. Like a shad color, a gizzard color. 
I think would I know destroy. No, he's got the carp color coming out soon. That would destroy. There will be more colors coming out here for sure. On in the season. Don't limit this just to just the trout color. Make this, make this bait expand. And I know he's actually in the works sure. of a new bait here soon. Okay. That I'm not entitled to really discuss at this point, but I know he's working on a new prototype. So. All right. Well, keep you posted, anyways, guys. This is Ken. Look out for him. All right. He's gonna be coming up. He's gonna up and rise in YouTube with a few of us out here. All right, we'll see you later. Tight lens. Peace.